pole from James Higgins. Jack Sherwood is next from Alex Ninovich. Then it is Zach Skula, who is top rookie, closely followed though by Rowan Campbell Pilling. Gustav Johnson makes a very welcome return to the championship. He is on row four uh, next to Mattis Ruber. Moulton Molnar is on row five with Reza Seaworthen. Harry Reynolds joins the championship. Welcome, Harry. Uh, as too does Thomas Behrman. Uh, brother of Ollie, the Formula One driver. Chloe Chong next from Alex Berg. Then the rookie championship leader, Johan Putsway, with work to do. August Raber alongside him, followed by Nina Gagman and Yu Hao Fu on row nine. The grid completed by newcomer Emily Cotty, then Kai Darianani and Bart Harrison at the back of the grid. So, Deegan Fairclough, I'm wondering whether he'd be nervous. Deegan never strikes me as the nervous type, used to winning competitions of all sorts. Huh? And what a year he has had so far. But this is the race that could secure him the championship. A win would be enough, but realistically just needs to beat Alex Ninovich by four points. Out go the lights, and we are racing for the first time in the penultimate race weekend of the season. Fairclough gets away well. Ninovich is having a good go and challenging him. and goes up into second position on the inside the damp circuit could catch them out but the drivers know where the damp spots are they've had two green flag laps and fair cup is under pressure and Minovic is going around the outside let's see if he can do it side by side the road in driver doing absolutely everything in his power to take the battle to Deegan Fairclough, the second year driver, and it's Fairclough that soaks up the pressure so far. We haven't seen Deegan having to do too much of that over the course of the season so far because he's been very, very dominant. He's had so many pole positions and so many race wins as well. And what we've seen in the racing where he has been battling is taking the lead earlier on in the race, getting a little bit of a challenge and then starting to find his feet and beginning to move away. And it looks like he's got the measure of Alex Ninovich in the road in car in second position as they complete lap one here. 20-minute race as ever for the championship. Now you can see the pressure is on for second position. Three wide for second. Ninovic loses out. Ninovic down to third. So Ninovic on the inside run here. Is he going to get the position back? He's well teed up, but he's not going to have the momentum here on that inside run. And coming through is James Higgins, who qualified P2. So we'll feel he's got a little bit more pace as Bart Harrison from the back of the grid has an issue. And as you would expect, as you get to the later stages of the racing season, these guys get used to the car, they get used to car racing scenario and start putting in some very good results. And Skula looking very handy at the moment. Best result for Zach. He's had a couple of six places, so he's not really in uncharted territory, but showing really good form here. Side by side with Ninovic, multi-race winner Ninovic and Zach Skula. He's going to go through Ninovich's force wide. Skula makes up the position. Down behind them, we've got uh, Rowan Campbell Pilling coming up, along with Reza Seaworthen. But it's Deegan Fairclough out front at the moment, who, with our onboard, will be, uh, be nice for the celebrations at the end of the race, see the onboard, but clear circuit in front of him at the moment. As you can see, a good uh, lot of rookies here all getting stuck in. This is the view from the race leader. Coming through, left-hand kink here at Maggots, then the long, long right-hander at Beckett's, bringing them onto the Wellington straight. We'll see the bridge, which we've got our uh, static camera on. They go under the bridge, so fair clough at the moment. Seven tenths clear on the last lap. Relatively comfortable for him at the moment. James Higgins in P2. Higgins is challenging and is significantly challenging Reza Seaworth for third in the championship. Higgins will, in fact, take third position in the championship for this one. I think that's Zach Skula had a puncture. Didn't look happy, did he? But very quickly turned around. Skula will rejoin the race down towards the, the back. Deegan Fairclough, the 18-year-old from Surrey, out front leading this one. What does the future hold for Deegan? He's been nominated for the shortlist for the Aston Martin Autosport BRDC award. And there is absolutely no doubting the talent of this driver. Started off racing in the Sax Max Junior Saloons, raced a little bit in the BRSCC Fiesta Championship, then switched from front-wheel drive into F4, won his F4 drive for last year, racing in a sim racing competition, beating over a 1,000 other drivers. You really do have to consider that in most racing, you're going into a championship maybe with 20 other drivers, and to win is a great thing, but when you go into a competition where you've got a thousand other drivers and to come through the best of the best of those, that's exactly what Fairclough did. 
Rocket put their faith in him last year. He rewarded them with third place in the championship. And this year, if things stand the way they are, he's going to reward them further with the championship title. I hope that they stick with him and encourage him and nurture him on his way further up the Formula ladder. It'll be good to see. There is Alex Ninovic, who's had a decent season as well, but is coming into pit lane. So that is very definitely then going to be game over for the championship. Fair Club will take the champion. There's no way that Ninovic is going to get back into the points from the pits. Fair Club now four seconds clear. Still trying to close in on Ninovic. And these guys go three wide. Jack Sherwood on the inside, but at the moment, you've got to say Higgins has got that little bit of breathing space over Seawortham, who don't think has qualified the very best today. Seawortham, actually, Seawortham, do you know what? It works out really well for him because race two of the weekend with a top 12 are reversed, qualified P11, so he'll be on the front row tomorrow as we look back with Yu Hao Fu racing here with, that's number 50, isn't it? That is Thomas Beerman, Deegan Fairclough still out front, six seconds the gap now from the duelling pair for second position. So Ninovich still being chased by Deegan Fairclough. Fairclough has got the race under control. This has played out pretty much as we said it might well do. This is Emily Cotty, top karting racer, champion in karts. Emily Cotty saw her testing with the team at the start of the year, doing what a lot of drivers do. We'll test for a season or so before coming into the championship proper. And then one thing you can do, is coming towards the end of the season, coming for the last two rounds. Higgins looking fairly secure at the moment in P2, and he'll grab second place in the championship, Will Higgins. Sherwood still under pressure, though, from Reza Seaworth, and Gustav Johnson is next up. Great shot window here for Chris Dittman racing the red car. Now here comes Reza, he's through. Reza's up into third from 10th on the grid. Reza Seaworth has made it through, out of Maggots, into Beckett's. Great move on the inside for Seaworthen, and that gives him clear sight now, or does it? There's going to be another counter-attack here from Sherwood, but seaworthen has got clear sight of the driver in front of him, and that is who he is dicing with for second place in the championship, but Sherwood, of course, wants to take the battle back as they go into Brooklyn's the left-hander. Speculative wide run there. Certainly keeping with Seaworthen at the moment. Johnson and Campbell Pilling are next up. 33 seconds remaining on the clock, 55 second lap. So this is probably going to be the lap where we see the championship secured for Deegan Fairclough. Continues on his way, managed to pass Bart Harrison now. Ninovich still in front of him, and this is the view. Champion elect Deegan Fairclough looking to equal Alex Dunn's record of 11 race wins in a season. He's got five more races to beat that record, and do not put it past Deegan Fairclough to go for that. He will not take his foot off the gas. He may have got the championship, but he'll want more wins, he'll want more records. Comes down into Brooklands for the last time. Deegan Fairclough is there, it's been a super season. To wrap it up with five races to go in my book is absolutely incredible for Fairclough. Out of Woodcote, the chequered flag will beckon and we provisionally crown our 2024 Rocket F4 British champion certified by FIA. This youngster is very possibly on the ladder towards Formula One. He's got the super license points now to back that up. Many, many congratulations to all at High Tech and to Deegan Fairclough on a well-driven season, equals Alex Dunn's record of race wins. Here's how they finish. Deegan Fairclough takes an 11th win of the season and secures the crown. Congratulations, Deegan.